Okay, what's up guys? So what I'm gonna do in this video is show you a quick way to melt something or make an object look like it's melted. So it's really easy. First thing you wanna do is go Shift A. You can add any kind of, you can add like a cube, you can add a UV sphere. I'm gonna add Anki, Suzanne. Then what you wanna do is click Tab and then maybe subdivide it one more time. Okay, this does make a bit of a difference because the more you subdivide it, the you'll see that well it, it changes the how much and how sharp the melting effect is in a way so you don't have to subdivide it a crazy amount of times one is just perfect okay so first thing you want to do is go here with the object selected go to modifiers new add a subdivision surface you just add one okay just to kind of smooth it out a little bit now what you want to do is click tab and then go here and then select like one of them so something like there in the middle click here on proportional editing to enable it go here and hit random and then hit g bring it down you can see something like that now if you want to make the ears melt you can even make this melt click here g bring it down select one here g bring it down same thing there, G, yeah, G, you can just play around with it. And then click here, you can even go G, and then just different areas. And now, if I go out of tab, you can see it looks like the object is kind of melting. It does look a bit funny. You can right click shade smooth, just to make it look a little bit better. And then you can go back into tab, and then you want to click here hit g bring it down and if you want to make it smaller just roll your scroll wheel if you want to make it bigger bring it up okay but let's say you want to make it like move like animate all you do is what i'm going to do is just delete this one i'll add another one quickly tab subdivide once add a tab add a subdivision surface modifier it's up to one okay so now i want to animate it so let's go here select here shape keys hit plus and then click it again okay so with this selected hit tab now select where you want go here random okay g bring it down okay and then what you want to do is go out of edit mode you can see it goes back to this don't worry that's fine and then if you want to bring it up we'll get it going again bring your value up okay all the way to one is where it was at the end zero is the beginning now you can see where we're going with this okay first thing and then what you want to do is go to edit preferences go to animation and then make this instead of linear make this bezier save preferences and then when you have it over make sure your value is zero right click hit insert keyframe and then let's go yeah go to your timeline Bring this up, bring this somewhere like this, make it like 50, make it like 60. Now bring this value all the way here, and then click this. Here we are, boom. Now you can bring this back, and then hit tab, and there we go. As easy as that. So, hopefully, this video helped you. Make sure you subscribe. I'll link this, or I'll upload this to the Patreon. If you remember, you can download it. But otherwise, thanks for the support on the channel. And I'll see you in the next video.